Wow, is there a super shoe being used in track and field right now? You know, there's a lot of arguments about that. I highly, highly doubt that. Welcome Sports Nation to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. Now, as the world comes to grips with the Nigerian Toby Amazon 100 meter hurdles run and world record performance, where she ran 12.12 seconds in the semi-final, setting a new world record in the 100 meter hurdles, then she returned the finals Run a time of 12.06 seconds. Um, the win reading though was um, ab above the allowable limit of 2 meters per second. It was 2.5 meters per second. And so the world record run then would not stand. Amusan was quoted to say, um, I believe in my abilities, but I was not expecting a world record at these championships. You know, the goal is always just to execute well and get the win. So the world record is a bonus. Bonus indeed. For her trouble, she won 100,000 US dollars. Other athletes uh, reacted to her performance. Usain Bolt tweeting, wow. And Noah Lyles tweeted, are you kidding me? Amusan said she was shocked to have produced the record in the semifinal, but she knew she had it in her. So, as impressive as this run was, um, what we find are persons bringing up the old debate of super shoes. That's pretty much saying that some shoes might actually give person an advantage. Uh, so, two media hosts were seen carrying these articles. Um, the Guardian and Reuters spoke to this. The Guardian um, headlines read, Amasan shatters 100 meter hurdles record to revive super shoes debate. While Reuters article pretty much says, Amasan reignites shoes technology debate after a record breaking display. Yeah, so according to the Guardian, um, they spoke to Michael Johnson's claim about the timing system at Hayward Field being off. But in the article, it, it mentioned that Amazon had been given a boost by using Adidas Adizero Avanti shoes, which are designed for 5 km and 10, 10 km runners rather than track spikes. It stated Adidas built the Adizero Avanti as like hitting fast forward and promised the shoes provide a snappy, propulsive ride and high traction and reduce fatigue so you finish five kilometer and ten kilometer races with a kick there's nothing illegal about the shoes with current world athletics rules dictating that spikes cannot have soles thicker than 20 millimeter millimeters the same as the azero avanti that amusan used amusan told guardian that my abilities are not centered around spikes um, revealing that she had hit upon the idea to use customized shoes with a bouncy foam due to an injury. Uh, she was quoted as saying, I had a patella fasciitis at the beginning of the season and so that, you know, pretty much set her back. Made a request um, from Adidas to have her, her sole of her spikes um, softer. Uh, they recommended some stuff. And now she feels comfortable, so she was basically using it the entire time. Of course, the, the, the adjustment was um, within the allowable um, sole thickness of um, IWF regulations. But the debate rages on with writers and, and Guardian, you know, citing um, super shoes that give persons an advantage. And of course, the American 400 meter hurdle record um, holder. 
um, Sidney McLaughlin um, was wasn't spared this this debate. Um, they also pointed that um, a new breed of super shoes do appear to particularly help hurdling events, right? And that pretty much gave might have given um, Sydney McLaughlin some advantage. Now, some persons might be wondering, how can a shoes give you some advantage? You know, how how would that help? Well, if you guys remember, um, the Adidas Adazira Avanti was labeled as promising to give a, um, a snappy, propulsive ride and a high traction and reduce fatigue. Um, so you can just imagine somebody doing the hurdles, you know, they will get a, a better kick and better push and traction as well as reducing fatigue. So for the 400 meter runner, she would not, you know, get that level of fatigue and would be able to, to manage, um, you know, lactic acid and stuff like that. Um, so that was some of the promises that um, the Adidas Aviante um, promises. I, I'm not certain if it actually did do that. And, and you all fans out there, you can you can actually comment on that and tell us if you think that persons are getting an advantage, you know, running into these type of um, customized or design designer shoes that supposedly give persons an advantage. You know, even doing a quick research on, on some of these shoes, you find that you have carbon fiber shoes um, promises to give persons an, an advantage in a sense that the shoes uh, increase energy return, um, improve speed with that extra boost and the runners toe off so pretty much helps the, the runner get that push um, as well as benefit um, from shock absorption and these increase energy return. So you, you as you plant it benefits that shock to your foot and helps um, relieve pressure to, to um, certain joint areas like your ankle and relieve the pressure to your ankle to, to also your knee. Um, so what you find is that the lactic acid buildup in your calves and ultimately up into your hamstring is less with certain shoes um, technology. But IWF pretty much have a list of shoes that is acceptable and for the events um, the, and the model of shoes and stuff like that and the thickness of the sole. Um, this was released sometime in December uh, 2021 and it's, and it's available on their website. Uh, they're planning to do a big upgrade in 2024 where they will just simplify the rules around the thickness of the sole. Um, but fans out there, uh, leave your comments in the section below and let us know how you feel about um, this claim of a super shoes you know, mentioned by Reuters and The Guardian and if Amusan is unfairly targeted um, you know, leave all that in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to tell a friend, to tell another friend and to tell all of their friends to come and join our channel. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Be blessed.